Tom and Jerry did not get along in the cartoons. But can a real-life cat and pet rat get along? Welcome to Lifestyle Stalkers. In this video you will learn more about the safety of having a pet rat and a pet cat in a house. Is it safe, or will nature turn its course? Before we start, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell so you won't miss any of our lifestyle videos. Is it safe to have a pet rat and pet cat in the same house? A question many would wonder. There are a number of factors to consider before making this decision. Whilst there are those few people who say that their cat poses no threat to their rodent pals, and happily post pics of their cat and rat getting along well, this is a very rare case and should not be treated as the norm. It is possible to keep pet rats if you have a cat, although you should weigh out the pros and cons before adopting your new pets. Here are some things to consider. 1. Separation. You will need to be able to easily separate your cat and rats when you want to let your rats out. This could mean using a spare room as a ratty room. The spare room is free from rat dangers like wires, sharp objects, and small things they could choke on. It is also fully sealed. There are no little holes in the wall that the rats could escape from. Try to spend an hour a day in there with your rats. You can play together and can do some training with them safely away from naughty cat claws and teeth. Try to also have a lot of fun tubes, boxes and even a rat swimming pool for them to explore. Cats are usually fine with this time out, and as long as they have plenty of room to roam and their food, water and litter tray, and in our case a doggy companion, they will be fine. 2. Security. You will need to be 100% sure that your rat cage is secure. Of course, you would need to do this anyway, because you wouldn't want your rats to escape and get into danger. Rats are notorious escape artists. You may think that the space is too small for them to squeeze out of, but they will surprise you. Make sure the rat cage is sturdy, cannot be knocked over, and that there are plenty of areas for the rats to hide from prying eyes. Check out our video description to see our top list of sturdy rat cages. 3. Common sense. You know your cat better than anyone, but even if you have the gentlest cat in the world who appears to want to be friends with your rats, please be very careful and never ever leave them unsupervised together. You can have my rats sit on your shoulder whilst your cat is sitting next to you on the sofa. If your cat is sitting on top of the sofa, be very careful. The rat's tails are irresistible to most cats. If you have a cat and you are willing to put in some extra effort to ensure the safety of your rats, then there is no reason you shouldn't have rodent pets. However, make sure that you have more than one rat. This is always best as the rats can keep each other company when they are in their rat cage. Even if you can spend a lot of time with your rat, when you are away or asleep the rats can snuggle and play together and groom each other. It will make all the difference to their lives. Rats may seem fearless at times, but if you have more than one cat, perhaps you should think about whether a rat is really a good pet for you and your family. Imagine how the rats will feel as all the cats investigate the cage and try to figure out ways to get in. If you have decided to adopt some rats, be sure to take responsibility for their welfare. If you have a child who has begged you for rats they may learn some responsibility, but ultimately it is the adult who should ensure the animal's welfare and make sure the cats do not pose a problem. It is also essential to ensure your cats are getting just as much attention as they used to, before the new additions. Good luck! Did you work out whether keeping rats and cats together could work for your family? Check out our recent clip as well here in Lifestyle Stalkers. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.